Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna use my voice to prove to you with my own opinion how dinosaurs exist in the Torah. So it says in the it says in the <coughs> Genesis chapter one verse twenty one Vaivra Luhim et Hataninim Hagdolim and God created the great Taninim. So we have a few different opinions upon on what the word Taninim means. These were great rabbis that they looked into this word and they and they gave opinions upon on what the word means. So there's one opinion that says that the word Taninim means a sea giant with the word Hagdolim. So the words Hatani and Magdolim means great sea giants. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna list a few commentaries, but not all of them. So there's another commentary that says it's called the Ibn Ezra. It's gonna it says that the word Taninim Hagdolim means a crocodile. So great crocodiles. There's I'm gonna list one more opinion. Okay. So the the other the next opinion that I'm gonna list says that the word Taninim means snake because in the in the other in the other book of the Torah it says in the Exodus it says when the when Moses threw his staff in front of pa, in front of Pharaoh and it became into a snake the 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 God referred to it as a as a Tanin so Tanin and Taninim are the same thing it's just Tanin is a singular snake and Taninim is snakes so that that's what the commentary says and there's I'm going to give my own opinion on what on what the Tanim Gdoli means. I think that it means a dinosaur because if all of these all of these opinions they all lead to reptile. They all lead to a reptile because a snake is a reptile, a crocodile is a reptile, a sea giant it doesn't have to be a fish. It could be a reptile. It could be a reptile in the water. So, I think with my own opinion that the word Tanim means a dinosaur. Thank <laughs> you.